kicking her ass already, man. I love it. I'm telling you what, this town rocks, man. I'll get to a story about us in this town a little bit later in the set. It's a great story. It's a good story. Is Too Tall Tom here this evening? I think so. Too Tall Tom's not here? Okay. Just check it. Anyway, we're Collective Soul from Atlanta, Georgia. How you doing? <laughs> Reno, Nevada, wherever you're from, thank you for being here and sharing your time and energy with us this evening, man. This is awesome. We're out celebrating our 11th studio recording release called Vibrating, which... Oh, keep, you need to keep clapping on that one. Which, just to let you know, debuted number one on iTunes, on alternative rock and rock music, man. Because of you, because of you, because of you, and because of y'all. And there's one man here in particular that came in and surprised us. So I'm gonna bring him up on stage because he's gonna get a big old band hug right now. Mr. Fred Crescell, who has been with us for 20, God, 20 years now. Fred, get up here and give me some. That man used to run Madonna's label, Maverick, which gave you Candlebox, gave you Alanis Morissette, gave you Madonna, and he was so kind enough to kind of bring us into his fold. We love you, Fred. Thank you so much for all you do, brother. And when we finish the record, I always send it to Fred. And uh, when the finished product's done, I send it to Fred immediately. And he picked this song out. So we're doing this one for you tonight, Fred. This is off the new one. This is called Undone.
come undone. I need to walk. I need to run. I need more time. Cause I'm coming. Everybody good? I'm gonna have me a little on a plumber. Hey, buddy. You want it? All right, we got it. I'll put it on there. Cheney Braddon makes the best Arnold Palmer on the planet, man. I love me some Arnold Palmer, man. And on all days, I do John Daly. So, uh, I was talking earlier about uh, Freddie over there. About 20 years ago, we were the first band that said, uh, you know what? We're all adults here. We told our record label to fuck off, man. And we decided we were gonna go on our own. And we were the first band to do that. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a lot of firsts this band's done that people don't know about. I couldn't get a phone call from anybody, any manager or anybody, but that man over there took my call. And he goes, I kind of like this idea. This is kind of different. I was like, welcome to the South, young man. <laughs> anyway, so we recorded this record, which really kept the band together, because it was a very tumultuous time, I should say. Dean and I were going through a divorce, and uh, which, not not together. No, we were I know we're brothers, but we weren't married. We're not that southern, buddy. <laughs> anyway, God, I don't even know where to go from there. That's just it's just it's turned into some weird shit up here, man. Like, anyway. Out of that came some, I think, the best music we've done as a band. I think it kind of reinvigorated till we got Jesse and Johnny in the band. Um, so this is off uh, the record Youth. This is called Better Now.
sucker. I'll be right back. You got you people going.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call a league guitar. So he goes by the name of Mr. Jesse Triplett, man. We got Johnny Rob back here on the drums. Bass guitar, background vocals, band director, the one, the only, Mr. Will Turpin. And over here on rhythm guitar, my younger brother, my best friend, Mr. Dean Rowland. You're allowed to sit down on this one. <laughs> After this, your ass is mine. So uh, I have to say, man, it's so great to see people's faces again. Let me see these people's faces. And some of you, I even like to smell your breath, but... What a crazy couple of years, man. You know what, I, we, we kept recording. We made, we have two more records in the can and we're actually, uh, thank you, we're, we're excited about them too. But one of the cool things is, uh, I know it was Elvis' death, I don't know why people celebrate death, but let it be. Uh, I guess Elvis died a couple days ago, and he was a big deal to me growing up. And uh, anyway, he, when he passed, he owned two homes. One was in, of uh, course, Graceland, and he owned another one in uh, Palm Springs. So I kind of happenstance upon meeting the guy that owned his house in Palm Springs. So he's allowing us to go record another record in January in Palm Springs at Elvis's house. No one has ever recorded it any music in Elvis's house besides Elvis and Collective Soul. So I started getting all deep thinking, I was like, man, these times, they, they just, it's just irritating me. These times were irritating me. It's, it's, it's done all of us. I was like, I'm gonna write a protest song. Yeah, that, that's what my soul did to me, too. It laughed at me back. It's like, that ain't you, Ed. That's not going to happen. You like to write about love, whether it's broken, bending, happy, joyful, but that's what I like to write about. So I decided I would write a letter to who I consider the greatest protest songwriter and songwriter of all time, because he did it in such a beautiful way where he went down the middle so there wasn't a right or a left. It was just like letting you know what's going on, you know? Uh, so this song is called Bob Dylan, Where Are You Today?
Now I've taken the side of a beautiful car. Can you see this disguise I'm fading to a resolve?
I can't ask for it earlier, so we threw it in there real quick for you. I need a hug from him. We threw it in the set. Where are you, dude? Where are you? You asked for it. Where are you? He's out gambling. Nice. Dude, play this song. He's on the roulette wheel. The cool thing is at least he asked for a song that we actually did, you know. Somebody asked us to play Runaway Train one more time. I'm like, dude, dude, I want to smoke that shit you were smoking in the 90s, man. Let's have fun, man. This is, this is a good crowd. Let's have fun. I want to... We're going to... This is how we do it. We just uh, make it up. This is if you were at Ed's house in the basement with these five cats, this is how we do it. So I'm just going to make it up. And y'all know it. We've done it a couple of times. See, we're a real rock and roll band. We play together and we come up with the grooves and do it. That's exactly how we record right there. Horse shoot around Johnny. Johnny giving us that groove, baby.
I had to ask for a little go-go juice back there. Y'all are kicking my ass tonight. I love it. <laughs> so, uh, like I said earlier, we're from the state of Georgia, which has great musical history. Otis Redding, Ray Charles, Little Richard, Allman Brothers, Black Crows, Alan Jackson. I love me some Alan Jackson. Trisha Yearwood, I love me some Trisha too, baby. Indigo Girls, baby, B-52s, love them all, love them all. We were so blessed to grow up where that was so musically, you know, it was just like you, you felt as a kid, man, we can do this, we can do this. We could be here in Reno this evening with the craziest crowd on the planet, man. But there was one band in particular that really opened the doors for a lot of bands in Georgia and in the Southeast, and we'd like to do a song of theirs. This is called The One I Love by R.E.M.
Give me a little finger snap in here, Johnny. I need a little finger snapping going on. Come on. Color me any color. Speak to me in time to share. Tell me how you'd love to hate me. Tell me how you'd love to care. I just want to, I just want to shake a side. I just want to, I just want to shake us up. I just, I just, I just, I just want to chill.
tonight that we like to give thanks. We're grown men that believe in things bigger than these speakers, these lights, the stage. We believe in human beings. We believe in the human cause. We believe in the greater power. We're not here to convert. We're just here to say there's something bigger and better than us. So with that being said, whoever wants to come down the aisles and dance with us on this last song, please feel free. Security, be cool, man, be cool. Come down, come down. We're all neighbors, man. This is what I'm talking about. We're all neighbors. We live in the greatest place on the planet, the universe. We live in the United States of America, not the state of America. We live in the United States of America. It's okay to have different opinions. I suggest that. This has been a blissful night for us, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reno. Thank you, Nevada. You've always been here for us. We're not going anywhere. We want to thank our crew who works their ass off every day to make this work, man. Thank you, boys. I'm just catching my breath for a second, bro. <laughs> Not only catching my breath, I'm absorbing the energy that these good people have given us this evening. Thank you so much.
you. God bless Nevada.